what's up y'all so as you might have guessed from probably the title and from the lead in on this video we are having a day day locksmith day hey, hey it's tuesday to be exact i'm again not sure when this is going to actually go up but we're going to try for today and as you can see one extra little thing that I don't do every day out of that whole shabazz of stuff is bring in the pinning kit. So we are going to miss state of the state of the state pinning kit April, but we're kind of including it now. So we're not really missing it uh, because it is definitely time to do that. And on top of that, we do have four, three, no, three, look at two, four jobs. One of them, I need to go ahead and get this out now, is putting in this uh, this guy on a filing cabinet, this Avis four-door shoom. Avis four-door block, block, and uh, uh, putting that on a filing cabinet that needs extra security, which is very, very common because of HIPAA and other laws. Almost all businesses are required to lock customer records up. So when you have filing cabinets that do not, you know, lock, then you have to do that or have no other way to lock it. Uh, I do have to call them back before I go out because I've already put two on for them and I can't remember what keys that I gave them. So we are definitely going to have to get the code off their keys to see which padlock to bring for that because it only works with the padlock. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and just speed through this, uh, which I'm gonna call it this, uh, state of the state of the state of the state of pin and kit, April, 2021. Here we go. All right, a minute. I don't feel invested in this yet. Oh, I know why. It's because I haven't had my Mississippi cold drip this morning <gasps> and I got a fresh batch in. And that box, it's not a great box. In case you weren't aware, you too can order Mississippi Cold Drip, mscolddrip.com. They have some wonderful flavors like Mississippi Mocha and uh, and Turtle. What is it? Miss something Turtle, Mississippi Turtle. Turtle has Mocha in it, and and Mocha has Mocha in it. And this is one of my favorite coffees to drink. You can drink it cold. Apparently, you can drink it hot, but that makes no sense because it says Cold Drip, even though. Even though he said it's perfectly fine to drink it hot. But uh, yeah, get yours today at mscolddrip.com. There we go. Just like that. And when they were dropped off yesterday after I had left when he came in, but but uh, Kim sent me a text and said, which one do you want in the refrigerator? And they have been out of the Mississippi Turtle because if you remember a while back, we had no water. With no water, they can't make their product, unfortunately. But... Mississippi Turtle's back, so I said, of course, I want Mississippi Turtle. Triple filtered, triple soaked, Mississippi culture. I don't know, I don't make it. It's triple something. And that's about right. Woo. Now we can go back to the state of the state of the state of the pen kit. I need those, but what's more important, the pens or the coffee? The coffee, the coffee, totally. Still kind of need pens though. Come on, and tweezers, twice, tweezers. Oh yeah, there we go. As we can see, I'm doing a little bit of cylinder shorting up here, unrelated to my vehicle. So we're just gonna have to plop that down right on top, just like that. Oh, scissors, gotta have scissors. We're gonna take a quick peek see on uh, what we have for uh, pre cuts this week. Oh, pre cut, pre cut, pre cut. Pre -cut. 
that concludes the state of the state of the state of the pinning kit. However, I do have to go out there and uh, uh, clean out that area where the kit is because it's gotten kind of messy too. Weapon of choice for that, it's a plastic bat. So this is just gonna have to be a quick dump out because uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad at the moment. So typically I'll just come in and dump everything out, reclaim all my shims, my turning tools can go back up there. I need more magnets up top. Uh, but I am kind of low on shims out in the truck because they are all underneath here. And we have a ton of loose keys too. Let's put that in there. Let's put a few out. And uh, don't lose the plug follower. key tool, plug follower, uh, these cylinders with some keys already keyed up, I don't know what I've got that in there for, uh, that's empty and old, and there's that, yeah, another plug follower, key gauges, yep, there's a bad cylinder, that doesn't have to go, my shimmin blanks, uh, schlage, a lot of that kit sometimes my routing deal there's a pick there's some uh springs i actually had a whole bag of springs that need to be assigned a spring various spring plastic container but until then they just get put in here uh, and then we have some recuts i think we need to recut no that's four i don't have to recut that that should be all of them L.A. Yep, we're good there. I think there's some rust one depth keys. We just need to go back. Those are good. Everything else is just various cylinders. I don't know what condition they're in. There's a CX-5 that's pretty rough. Oh, what is that? Is that a... Uh... Is that is not... Huh. Looks like a falcon. It is a falcon. This video is not sponsored by anybody really at all, but we needed an ad break. So I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you to Saturday Morning Live. Happens every Saturday from 11 to 1 Central Standard Time. We have locksmiths and lock enthusiasts from all over the world join in discussion, so please make arrangements to be there. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that can stay, that can stay in here. The rest of these are just like, oh, there's another falcon. 
Why do we have two Falcon cylinders in here? That's kind of weird, but is what it is. Uh, this goes in giveaway. These get uh, these get recut, looks like. And then we have a bunch of sergeant keys in here for some reason. So we'll have to go through those later and figure out what's what. I think I used. Uh oh. I think I used some of these for something, so I'll have to go through and match up what's still good and then recut the rest. It looks like we got two. Shoot, this could be recut too. Okay. Yeah, it looks like the rest of this is just uh, scrap. Time to go. Hi, Cam. Hi, Cam. Bye, Cam. Bye. I'll be back. some marks a chrome one too probably settled oh hmm well that's not good is it Let's see Let's step down Good at all. Kind of peeking down to see, see what's binding. I can't get the key out. Fantastic. Okay, let's look and see what our brilliant welder did. He actually welded it off center. Look at that nonsense. Look at that right there. That's crazy. And if you look back at it, you can see it's veered a little bit. So what's happening is when this is in, number one, it's also broken. I mean, that's, that's something's going on in there. But when you close the gate, 
pits at the top, but, but you see, see the gap right there, down there, and that's because it's, it's because it's been out, I guess. We can't just switch it with a new one because the, the, the latch, it's just, that's why the latch is gone from here, and this is only deadbolt function. Because it's too close and I can't fix that a welder would have to fix it so we're just gonna have to see what the problem is these are not factory screws I don't think maybe I don't think this is a marks brand I think this is a fake marks brand Pretend. I've never seen screws like that. What's broken? Oh, hello. Okay, you can come out. You can come out. And yes, we're missing the little doodad there. So uh, we're going to take a bald one. Most likely. Let's just do this one. Because I don't want to use my ball and springs for this. So wrap. And in. Go ahead and cut this off right here. With a pair of cutters. I'll just use these. Couldn't get any better.
Alright y'all, we're gonna circle back around to the shop because the next customer is still about 15 minutes away from the house, so I have literally just enough time to run and get coffee. <laughs> Which, I could either go sit in the driveway for 10 minutes, or I could uh, go get coffee and cruise around town. Which is what I'm gonna do. Sipping my coffee. Oh, what's this guy gesturing excitedly for? Let's go see. Lucy, <laughs> what's up, y'all? Oh, crazy puppies! Oh, crazy puppies! Okay, I gotta go. Do I? Maybe he's not from Madison. Ah, <laughs> no, he's from out of state. Okay, I'm out of here again. Back out of angle parking spots, but you can actually see the reflection of people coming in the windows right there. That's about right. Nope. Sorta. Of. You can sort of see it.
Maggie, what's up? What the heck did I drive through? Okay, so this is what you call broken broken. Actually, the, uh, the post snapped off of the inside, so we have to replace it. This is the egg knob, or sienna. And uh, as you can see, that part right there is actually this part that just snapped off. So I have to rekey this. Blocks we lost this week, right? And uh, typical Schlage F series, just egg shape. Uh, no big deal. Rekeying it. Pop that off. Pop that off. Drop this out. Yep, just like that. Just like that. And, uh, whenever I'm reeking these, I always smush it down just like this. Boop. And try to get the clip off. Up just like that, and then let it go. Turn it to the right, to the right, or to the left. 90 degrees. Wiggle it out. Yep, get their key and re key it. So, bought one style key. Okay, like that, like that. Oh, come back. Towel. Y'all use towel? I thought about getting one, but eh, I don't really lose stuff that much. Put it on my keys. Which of my keys am I going to put it on? Right? It's crazy. Okay, let's go slap this on. One more lock we lost this week. Let's keep them all together though.
So now we are on the way to an old Volvo. A long-term customer had given the Volvo to a friend of his who had since passed away a couple of years ago, and he was trying to get it back. He brought the paperwork in and showed it to us, but we had told him that we don't work on those anymore, and he wanted me to go by and open the glove box because he felt like maybe one of the keys was in there. And so even though we don't work on those anymore, I just went ahead and told him that I would go give it a shot. I think we're working with a older high security key. I think it was a S66N or something like that. Uh, the glove box, according to my paperwork, should only have four wafers on it. So uh, it shouldn't be that difficult to pick, but we'll keep our fingers crossed and hope it goes pretty smoothly. Okay, y'all, we have a Volvo double-sided. Looks like somebody's been here before. Probably tip of the key. Uh, so we got, should be two wafers on all four sides. And uh, we're gonna use this double-sided tension wrench and a Sparrow's hook. I don't know if I turned right or left. Let's try it this way first. Let's see what kind of feedback we get. All right, can you see? Can you see? All right. I'm using a diamond for this. All right, bottom left, nothing. Bottom right. Top left. Push on the first wafer. Top left. Or top right, I'm sorry. Why it's hard to see. Break those two. Come down here. I don't think we're turning the right way. Nothing bottom left, nothing bottom right. Top left, nothing. Oh, that overset. That overset. Start off with this guy. Mm. Right, we're going to keep him up. Go bottom left.
latch is broken. Very interesting. Such a waste of time. So, anyway, he's just gonna have to have a toad out of here. Because the glove box latch is broken too. See that thing in the New Orleans news about how people in the neighborhood were all upset because they moved the helicopter landing path and it was disturbing their peace more than it was before. Supposed to be using the light. Come on. Come on. Supposed to be using the light, people. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. So there's Fonder. Normally I go to the left to get my coffee, but I gotta go to the right to go to a uh, house to open a bedroom door that supposedly has a key lock on it that they've never had a key for. It. So here we go. Fondra. Other side of Fondra. The bottom side of Fondra. <laughs> We're like right up the hill here to the left. But we're not going that way. We're going to house in the neighborhood right over here. No, oh, but it's our beautiful new, just whatever the heck you want to call this, bike. No, get off that. Oh, lady, that is not a driving lane. All right, people, just for driving lesson 101. It is not, that's a do not cross line right there. Solid white means do not cross, in case you didn't know. But uh, yeah, I can see some people coming around this corner and hitting this like head on. I can see it. Look how super wide it is. It took away the took away the two lanes going both ways. Hey, yeah, there's gonna be cars that ramp up on that.
got a video on National, I think. Pretty certain it's the kind with that plastic tailpiece that's held on with the roll pin. Oh, and because the keyway is so, like, small, I guess, I guess small would be the word for it. It's a smaller keyway. It makes it hard to manipulate, especially when you suck picking locks. I need coffee and a Pop-Tart. That's what I need. Let's go to the shop and get coffee and a Pop-Tart. Get in your lane. Get in your lane. Dumbass. I always wait a second at Jackson. Because somebody going to run the red light. There's one. Hey, Charlie Brown. Don't jump. No, don't jump. No, don't jump. No, don't jump. Uh, okay. Okay, you stupid puppies. I got toys all over the shop. Crazy. You're crazy. Both of y'all. Pour myself some coffee. Eat one of my two Pop Tarts here. Put it down to the right. <laughs> and I see exact same kind of lot. This is a privacy version now. Submaster or something? Looks like it. That was the key that. It's two different keys. Uh, let me call him and find out. He didn't Probably say. Probably got a white tag on it for a reason. Yeah, but let me make 100% sure. Eh, eh. I don't thank you. Bye bye. Yes. What are y'all doing? Is it time to go? Are you, are you excited about that? Hi. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? Get down. Lucy. Get down. Lucy, come here. Hey, good girl. Okay. Stop. Sit down. Stop. Sit down. Would good boy. Just be still. Good boy. Oh my gosh. Good boy. Come on. Yep. You can take that. Oh, I gotta take both. Yep. <laughs> Oh, what you, you still haven't run the doors yet, huh? Oh. Who's, 
Dumber than Briggs. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Dumber and Dumber. That's what we should have called them, Dumber and Dumber. <laughs> uh, now we're idiots. Simultaneous pee No, don't be doing that. No. I forgot to tell you, he lifted his leg tonight. Oh my goodness, did he? <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Oh, y'all are. <sighs> Flagging crew coming this way. Drop it. So no, it's fine. Drop it. Oh. Drop it. Two bus beef. Come on. Good bad. Charlie Brown will not. He wants to go with you. Stop it. Just stop. Come on, Lucy. Let's go to the bathroom. See, I don't care either way. I don't care who you're at. I don't, she can leave for all I care. Are you going on a car ride? Oh! No! Get in your seat. In your seat. Well, now it's editing time. I'm gonna look for a latch for that privacy, but I don't think I have one, so. Uh, so unless something really major pops up between now and six o'clock, cause it's four, 10 after four right now, we've got to rekey and replace the clip on that one. So I guess we'll go do that. We'll just kind of, kind of do it right here. Oh, oh man. Okay, key it to the one with the white one on there. So that is uh, one, two, two, five, two, looks like. One over here. Fresh two dumped in here. One, two, uh, two. I forgot to bring the housing over. Oh, no. One, two, two, five, two. Yep. Jump and uh, oh, I didn't forget to bring the housing over here. Um, there we go. For this one, we're gonna use Quick Set Original stuff. I need a pair of tweezers. Oh, nope, not that pair of tweezers. Here, we'll use actual pendant tweezers. How about that? Get out of here, get out of here. I hate actual pen and tweezers. I am not proficient with actual pen and tweezers. How many hours a day do we waste untwisting springs? These are really twisted. Come on. Uh. All right, so now I need my pointed tweezers. <laughs> uh, hey, it's Jason, the locksmith. We've got your keys done whenever you want to come pick them up. Okay, thanks. Bye. We're going to go ahead and populate some of these let's see if let's just grab you yep uh, we're gonna skip those because they're just way too tangled way too tangled for my taste two three no no No, oh, why are you bouncing back out? Have we got another spring still down in there? Nope, we don't. It was just bouncing out. J 
chest. Oh. And one more, and we do need a clip. That is likely what broke and caused this problem. It's not the clip, it's the back of the plug, and it's not the back of the plug, because the back of the plug looks okay. If it is the back of the plug, you'll see, you'll see it split here and here. Which is pretty common, like that. Boom. 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 No, my last clip. No, we are missing the uh, hollow end. Uh, we need to. We got. We know that's hollow because hollow because it's got the screw threads on it. So we'll just plop this little guy right in there out of my handy dandy drawer of parts, and we'll be good. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Put you back. Reason number one why I keep a quick set kit sitting around. And, um, check it. Where'd the keys go? Quickset.co probably has a smart lock, smart cylinder, smart key cylinder, so the minute key isn't working. There's another one. She got an L4 too. So, oh, this goes, this goes back. All right. And uh, ha ha, we're done. Obligatory siren. That was a hand ambulance. Going that way. Oh man. So all my neighbors have left. I gotta go answer the phone. Kim left. I'm all by myself up here. Uh just realized I should have been filming that, but but yeah, this is what I just did. I went from that. To that, so we are done with the day. It is, uh, I'm like three or four minutes till six o'clock. 
and uh and yeah i'm done i'm done thanks for watching y'all if you have any questions or comments as always post them in the comment section boom time for the end of yet another day in the life of this locksmith anyway thanks for watching again y'all make sure and hit that thumbs up button and uh we'll catch you next video i didn't really i didn't really film any of the shutdown process but yeah it's it's pretty much everything that i did this morning but but in reverse Build us up on change today. Well, let's take out the locks that we lost today. Uh, the lock. I wonder if it's 